You know, everybody thinks I won the Eurovision Song Contest, but I didn't. I mean, I, I, it was a very, very dramatic vote that day. I, my, sometimes my record was winning, sometimes it wasn't. The song was Congratulations, and in the end, I was number two. And I was beaten by just one point by the beautiful Maciel, who, in fact, afterwards, I rushed up to, and I shook her warmly by the throat. But, uh, no, I didn't, actually. But she, uh, she beat me, and, of course, I, that wasn't a happy moment for me, but it's a wonderful contest. It's a great chance for European music to be presented from all the countries by their best singers, and I hope that this celebration of 50 years means that we can have 50 years more of Eurovision. Good evening from Copenhagen, capital of Denmark, and welcome to Congratulations, celebrating 50 years of the Eurovision Song Contest, live from the Forum. By the way, I must uh, welcome on board our viewers and listeners in Australia on SBS. I want to say uh, a welcome to you. Here's one of our hosts tonight, Katrina Minus Her Waves. From Forum Copenhagen, please welcome the winner of the 1997 Eurovision Song Contest and our host for the night, Katrina Leskanich. Thank you. Good evening, Europe! <laughs> welcome to wonderful Copenhagen and congratulations. celebrate the wonderful idea of bringing together Europe in a melodic contest with Ein bisschen Frieden. We will la desringa. So don't dore mon amour because we're going to have a huge party. I hope you're all set. So sit back and relax and enjoy. Congratulations. 
Ah, look. It's Reynard Coppers, the well-known Latvian. Guess what happened? I was pongered out in storm wind, and I had to run to get here, and I thought it was my Waterloo. Well, it almost was your Waterloo. I had to start without you. Hmm. Will you do all kinds of everything? Take me to your heaven. I want to be with you every way Keep ticking off the titles. Are you sure? Of course, Good man, you are my star. Après toi. Alléluia, j'aime, j'aime la vie, merci, chérie, you're my number one. A real diva. He, <laughs> he represented Latvia at the Eurovision Song Contest 2000 with his band Brainstorm. They came in third. And in 2003, he hosted the competition. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the one and only Renner's Coppers. These are two people well used to TV and the lights and all that goes involved, gets involved in an event like this. So they'll be, they should be very relaxed and very comfortable with Let's this. Let's have fun and shine yes. the light. Yes, shine the light. What about what happened to the love? You know, love. That's, that's the all we need. All right, whatever. That's all we need. <laughs> anyway, tonight we're going to celebrate the 50th anniversary of the Eurovision Song Contest. We have invited a lot of winners from the past 50 years, and here they are. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, good evening. Hey, Di Chin, I hope everything is ding dong with you. It's really great that you're here. It's really great that you made it. <laughs> we will take you on an exciting and sometimes bumpy ride down memory lane, and some of our notable guests will perform some of the songs which over the years have become classics. And to help back up our performers tonight, we've invited some very special singers. Each of them might ask, why me? We're just rock and roll kids. Yeah, yes. Yeah. <laughs> But I know that each of them has the voice. Hi, Emma. And for and Charlie board, and Linda. They are winners of the Eurovision Song Contest in 92, 94, and 96. Ladies and gentlemen, from there Ireland, they are. Linda Martin, Emma Quinn, Charlie McGettigan. And please welcome the local heartthrob who secured Denmark a place in next year's final in Greece, Jakob Schweistrup. Ah, don't worry, Jakob. You hang around with them long enough, your day will come. They'll be all right. So they all look magnificent. And they've been practicing and working so hard here. Tonight we will celebrate and we will elect our favorite Eurovision song ever. This is going to be one hell of a party. So we better get this party started. Let's go. Go on, lads. I dare you. Go on. Almost 1,000 songs have competed in this contest during the 50 years. All of them were put on the internet. <laughs> and Did somebody come in? Were chosen by you for this special night. Whilst watching the 14 songs and excerpts, you can vote, and five songs will enter the final. After that, you will vote again. And the one song that gets the most votes is the winner. It's easy, isn't it? Well, actually, you can vote now. All you need is a phone. On the board, you can see the song titles and the numbers you have to phone to get your favorite song into the final. On the board, you can see tonight's contestants. Europe, start voting now. now. Ah, <laughs> oh, a small one. <laughs> well now, done. boys, let the games well commence. Well done, thank you. <laughs> Renners, are yes. you up to date with who's won in the past 50 years? Uh, not really. I only know that we lost to some Danish brothers. <laughs> anyway, guys, you are forgiven. <laughs> no bias with the home crowd. If you, like Renars, are a bit rusty on the winners, we'll have our first quick tour down a star-studded memory lane.
This is marvelous. Sit back and enjoy this. Couleur du ciel, parfum de mes vingt ans. Een beetje verliefd is iedereen wel eens, dat weet je. Je wilt verstandig zijn, maar dat vergeet je. Zodra je naar wat aner fluistert. Adieu, 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 deine tränen. The songs we're watching tonight have been chosen from the internet. There's a total of 14 finalists tonight. To introduce our first entry, we have asked a beautiful singer who was only 16 years old when she first entered the competition in 1983. She came third but wanted more. In 91, she entered again, and after a breathtaking tie between France and Sweden, she won with Fongod Oven Stormwind. Let's enjoy a bit of her winning song and see some clips from her amazing career. Now you'll find a lot of this happens during the course of the evening here. This is Carola showing us clips from her amazing career. And of course she did win the Eurovision with Vanguard Avon Stormwind in 1991. But during the course of the evening some winners have come back and some people who didn't win but did well have come back and they will be helping to present various songs and uh, parts of the evening. Please welcome from Sweden, Carola! Doesn't she look well? Thank you! Don't mention it, Carola. If they give this welcome to everybody, we'll be here till Thank Sunday you. evening. Thank you, Dumbo. Thank you, God bless. Oh, it's good to be here tonight, huh? <laughs> yes, it is. The first contestant is a true king of pop. He began his career in the mid-50s and is still going strong, very strong. The night he first entered the Eurovision Song Contest, he was already everybody's favorite and he won all the young girls' hearts with the song and dance act. And he was only one point short of winning the contest. In 1973, he came back with the hit song Power to All Our Friends, only to end up in the third place, but both songs have become worldwide hits. 
tonight. We will listen to the true classic, his true classic from 68. Ladies and gentlemen, Sir Cliff Richard and song number one. Congratulations. A shining moment for Phil Coulter and Bill Martin. Just came hot on the heels of Sandy Shaw. Here's Cliff, our first one. Congratulations and celebrations when I tell everyone that you're in love with me. Congratulations and jubilations. I want the world to know what happy as can be. I was so afraid that maybe you thought you were above me. But I was so fool to myself to think you loved me. But then tonight you said you couldn't live without me. But round about me, you wanted to stay. Congratulations and celebrations When I tell everyone that you're in love with me Congratulations and jubilations I want the world to know I'm happy as can be Well, the frocks wore well, as did Cliff. Congratulations, the first of our songs for this evening, from 1968. Cheer up. Well, when I first did the competition in 68, um, every, a lot of people said to me, why are you going into a competition? You could lose. And I said, yeah, but all of us could lose. There's only ever going to be a one winner. Like any game, any kind of competition, there's one winner. And I, maybe if I don't compete, then I... I I'll never win. So I thought, I felt that way. And I also felt, though, there's the commercial side of me that said, you know, 400 million people watching. If only one million people buy the record, I have a million seller. In fact, congratulations, even though I lost the competition, um, I sold more than one, maybe two million records. So that's one good reason for doing the competition. It's a wonderful way to present your song to millions of people. I probably wouldn't do it now. I think I'm too old. And, 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 I, and I, I, would, I think it's wrong. I think it should be done by younger people. You know, new artists, it's a good opportunity. Like Abba were a new artist. Olivia Newton-John was a new artist. And she became very famous after, after Eurovision, even though she didn't win it. So uh, I, I would say to people, don't fear the competition. Enjoy, enjoy the competition and try to win. And if you don't win, go ahead and get a life that's full of success. Well, it's my pleasure now to introduce somebody. I never thought I'd do this, actually, because when I lost in 1968, my wonderful song, Congratulations, by, was beaten by this next artist. She beat me by one point, the beautiful, lovely, the Spanish, Maciel. Cliff Richard A got the bus pass last week. 65, good heavens. Can I just say the quality of some of these tapes is, um, the, oh, hello, these are little to be desired. But of course, they're, they've lasted, I suppose, the test of time. They've done their best. This is Maciel here, whose real name is Maria de los Angeles Santa Maria Espinosa. I think Maciel was an inspired choice of name. Well done. She beat Cliff, as he said, by uh, one point, and her song was called La La La. I rest my case. She's just recorded a rap version of it. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Marcel. Here's Marcel now, and she has a very important task. And the first task is to get rid of your man. Thank you. 
Thank you, Denmark. Thank you, Europe. It's a long way to camp. I just arrived. Good, Good evening. Girl. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Well, in 1980, a young Irish man came all the way from Australia to represent his country. To be honest, he was not the biggest name in pop history when he entered the contest, but when he left, he was a star. And his victory became the beginning of a successful and international career. The song he sang that night became a real Eurovision classic. Here is song number two. What's another year? Johnny Logan! Fantastic. Oh, and happy birthday, by the way, to Shea Healy. Who wrote this? Our winner from 1980. Johnny Logan. Looking out for you, but you're not here. What's another year? I've been waking such a long time, reaching out for you, but you aren't near. What's another year? Song number two, What's Another Year? Ireland has won the contest more times than any other participant country. In all, Ireland has won seven times. The runners up to this record are Luxembourg, France, and the United Kingdom, with five times each. The only country to have won three times is Israel. The third competing song comes from Israel. It was the winner of the Eurovision Song Contest in 1998. Ireland has Donna, Israel has Donna too, but she's even more international and has gained cult status all across Europe. Here's song number three, Diva, sung by Dan International. You should be suitably understated with Dana.
Now, for those of you coming to this event late, Dana used to be Yaron, and Yaron was a man. Whereas Dana clearly is not a man, as far as we know. Thank That's you, John Paul Gautier, is it? Love you. Probably. Hello. Hello, hello. Hello. How are you? Can I kiss you? Yes, of course you can. Mwah. Shy as ever. Donna, do you remember in 1998 when I handed the crown over to you? And I thought I was rather fabulous in my Isabel Christensen dress, but you completely took the, well, wind, took the wind out of my sails. Well, you know, my manager had an idea to go and talk with Jean-Paul Gaultier, which is a magician with clothes, and he gave me a fabulous dress, and uh, she did it. It was amazing. The plumage. Allow me to call her a she. Yeah, <laughs> that's fair enough. Now you're getting me confused. Would you like to participate in Eurovision Song Contest one more time? Yeah. Of course, why not? Look at this wonderful crowd! Hello! Copenhagen, Shalom Israel! Happy, happy to be here. Wonderful, flawless, absolutely flawless tea. Dad, Who has flawless teeth? Please help us to introduce the next flawless teeth. Of course, you're so nice. That would be lovely. <laughs> you know? Oh no! A back in the 60s, some students from Bilbao, in Spain, they formed a group, which became very, very popular all around Spain. In 1973, they entered the Eurovision contest with uh, the song "Eres Tú." In Mosedades, which was a very big success all over Europe and the United States. Song number four, Mosedades and Eres Tu Viva España! What an introduction. I'd say, I'd say the Spaniards are delighted with that. Eres Tu, Mosedades, from 1973. You don't think you know this? You do. Eres tú, eres tú, como una mañana de verano, como una sonrisa, eres tú, eres tú, así, así, eres tú, toda mi esperanza, eres tú, eres tú, como lluvia fresca en mis manos. Fuerte brisa, eres tú, eres tú, así, así, eres tú. moment for, for her. Amaya, Jose and Carlos taking the applause and they lost one of their members, Roberto, only last week from that band. Mosadelis, Eristu from 1973. The crowd warming to them, which is lovely. A lot of nostalgia here tonight and a lot of people, don't forget, connecting with their childhood and with their youth on that stage tonight and remembering because Winning the Eurovision has always been very important to, to Omar, artists. Thank you, Jose and Carlos from the original Mothadares. And now, 
Do you know what kind of contest this is? Well, of course I do. It's a song contest. Exactly. But have you ever noticed that for some of the contestants, it's something more than just a song contest? What are you trying to say? Well, over the years, some artists have shown their political opinions and somehow wanted to spice up the contest with exceptional, daring, funny, unforgettable, larger-than-life performances. Let me show you some of them. There's a big long kiss coming, I'm warning you now. Here's one of my personal highlights. Lil, what do you like? The way to the university, look at him. It's been jolly from the Ukraine this year. It's just accent or just that bit different. Song contest, eh? <laughs> what airline was that? It's an interesting crowd of Icelanders. There he is, Burger King. Remember this pair, by the way, Nicole and Hugo. You'll need to. I'm sorry, his name is Marty. My God, what's this? Ah, baby doll. No, it's not Hagar the Horrible. That's Roger Pontare. I loved him. As opposed to this. Here's Nina, the mad French woman. Not that you care, but this man's name is Gildo Horn. And he's a... Oh, look! That's the job, all the way from Moldova. <laughs> what a great girl she is. She's gone missing. I wish this fella went missing. Um, Bertha and Gustav. Give us a kiss. I give us a kiss. I right, should let go now. You can let go now. Hello. Daring Eurovisioners. The Danish kiss you saw lasted 11 seconds and caused an outcry in some countries back in 1957. Do you think it would now? 
Oh. He's a saucy Latvian. Hang on. Here's somebody's mother. This is my kiss. She's the original this kisser. This lady who caused an outcry back in 1957, Birta Wilka. Thank you there for she is. Birta Wilka. Wait here. Woohoo! Bertha's looking at Reynard thinking, what about, what about that kiss anyway? <laughs> In 1973, three entries were in a very close race during the voting. The one that came in third was Cliff Richard. Number two was Mose Dadas with RS2. The winner was a young French girl, which represented Luxembourg. She sang a wonderful ballad. And later she recorded six versions that made it to the charts all over the Europe. In 79, she represented France and came in third. Ladies and gentlemen, Anne-Marie David. You'll notice, by the way, in a lot of these clips, obviously, the orchestra. There's a live orchestra here tonight, which has not happened in Eurovision for a long time. Great excitement there for Anne-Marie David. She's French, represented Luxembourg, and won. Ladies and gentlemen, please give a warm welcome to Anne-Marie David. And she's going to join us now and introduce our next song. Song number five. We just sang earlier on this afternoon. Amri David so looks much. marvelous. Marvelous. Welcome, Europe. Thank you. I love you. I'm very impressed. You are too. Yeah. <laughs> well, in 1982, Germany finally took home the trophy with an impressive 61 points lead between number one and two. There was no doubt. The winner was a very young, very talented girl. Since then, the popular singer has had a successful career and has released 20 albums. Yes, performing her winning song once again that 1982, she impressed all Europe by singing in German, French, English and Dutch. Everybody was thrilled to tears. Here is a ballad about peace, song number five. Eine, ein bisschen Frieden sang by Nico. The only German Eurovision winner in 1982 from the pens of the fun boy too, Ralph Siegel and Bernd Mürninger. They're only in this more often, I think, than the theme song. Nicole and a little piece. Ein bisschen Träumen und das 
it's amazing how fresh so many of these songs sound tonight. Maybe it's the atmosphere because we're here or whatever. But it's certainly they have a very fresh sound. Alle Menschen, it's cold now. Alle Zuschauer, die Fans der Eurovision sind und ich hoffe, dass wir noch viele viele Jahre eine Eurovision haben und äh, ich bedanke mich noch mal bei allen Menschen, die am 24. April 1982, als ich in Harrogate Deutschland vertreten habe, zugeschaut haben und mir ganz kräftig die Daumen gehalten haben. Es hat funktioniert und ich sage nochmals Danke und wünsche euch allen viel mehr als ein bisschen Frieden. It is really, really nice of you to send your greetings to all of us here in Copenhagen and all over Europe. We also wish you more than ein bisschen Frieden while you are working tonight in Germany. Thank you to Nicole and song number five. In the 1986 contest in Norway, another young girl came on stage. She sang about being 15 and loving life, which you could easily see in her performance. It later turned out that she was only 13. But all of Europe was stunned by her fantastic and lively performance and she got an impressive 176 points and secured Belgium's first ever win. To this day, she is the youngest singer to win the contest and she is still going strong. Ladies and gentlemen, Sandra, Sandra Kim. Kim. Yeah. Isn't it incredible to think that she's only 13 there? Actually, it's quite funny here because when you see some of these performers through the, the years, it's like having a look at your old holiday snaps, or snaps of you when you were in your teens or when you got older. And you don't always want to see those pictures again. So think of yourself when you look at uh, some of our artists here tonight. Welcome, Sandra Kim. Sandra Kim, the winner in 1986. J'aime la vie. Good evening, everybody! Hello! La chanson suivante a été écrite et interprétée par un chanteur qui est devenu célèbre en Europe. Now she's letting us know about the next entry. C'était dans les années 50. Performed by a singer who became famous in Europe and America back in the 50s. Represented Italy three times without ever winning the contest, but all of his entries became worldwide hits. You're going to absolutely love this song. It was covered by Al Martino and by Dean Martin. But this man had the original success, also co wrote it, by the way. Maintenant, nous allons voir Domenico Modugno nous interpréter Nel Blue di Pinto di Blue. And sadly, Domenico, the man about to sing for us, died of a heart attack in 1994. You'll know this song, Nel Blue. Di Pinto di Blu as Volare. Penso che un sogno così non ritorni mai più. Mi dipingevo le mani e la faccia di blu. Poi d'improvviso venivo dal vento rapito e incominciavo a volare nel cielo infinito. Felice di stare lassù E volavo, volavo felice Più in alto del sole ed ancora più su Mentre il mondo pian piano spariva lontano laggiù Un 
una musica dolce suonava soltanto per me. Volare, oh, oh, cantare, oh, 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 nel degli occhi tuoi blu, felici di stare qua giù, nel blu degli occhi tuoi blu, felice di stare qua giù con te. Classic. I love that one. Oh, look, more singing. More kissing, indeed. Samanico Moduno. Finished third, but a real classic song. And as I say, he sadly passed away in 1994. Oh, yeah. That Those dance was still kissing. Domenico Montunio singing Nel Blu Dipinto di Blu, song number six. Now, for one country, the ride through this competition has been somewhat bumpy. They hold the record of Nil Poir, so everybody was thrilled in 1985 when the Swedish host, after dropping her skirt, announced... The winning song is a song from Norway. <laughs> There's enthusiasm. A band called Bobby Socks. <laughs> Elizabeth Andresen and Hannah Crowe. I must say, I'm honestly very happy that this happened because Norway has been last song so many times that you really deserve it. Hannah represented Norway in 1971 at the Eurovision and Elizabeth was one half of a band called Chips. Not the Linda Martin Band, represented Sweden in 1982. Norway's first ever victory in 1985 for Bobby Sox. The Norwegians are going ballistic here. To introduce the next song, we're proud to present the swinging winners from Norway, Bobby Sox, Hannah Crow and Elizabeth Andreasen. Says Elizabeth and Hannah. <laughs> Saw them earlier on, there is Jolly. Now I can tell you now that they are coming out to introduce the firm favourite for this congratulations 50th anniversary show. So no surprise. We really love you everybody. Go Norway. What a crowd. And we must say, I think we should give a good congratulations to the Hosi. I mean you're so good. Oh. Yeah. We're hot. Thank you very much. <laughs> In Thank fairness, you. they're very relaxed, I'll give them that. You took home Norway's first victory ever, and Norway won again in 1995. So what happened in 2005? Um, well, you know, Big Bang, they didn't win the Eurovision. Men. No. My God, they did win Europe. They just conquered the whole Europe. <laughs> yeah. Come on, come on, come on! Yeah! <laughs> they were our spandex boys, weren't they? Would you please help us to introduce the next contestant? We will. Yes, any time tonight. Thank, Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Our, be <laughs> Our beloved neighbour, Sweden, has a strong track record with four victories. Sweden. The first no, what's one coming? was in 1974 after a catchy tune by an unknown group with a funny name. The group has tried the luck back home the year before, but nobody needed a ring ring and they were banished to the third place. But they did not surrender like Napoleon did. And they came back with an even catchier tune. And everybody, all of Europe, had to surrender. Ladies and gentlemen, song number seven, Waterloo with Anna. Benny, Bjorn, Agnita, and Anna Fried, who had known each other since 1968 from 1974. They're skating for Waterloo.
Obviously, the rest of the dancers' outfits didn't arrive. ABBA, 1974. Do you know by 1982, they had sold 180 million albums? A phenomenon in terms of, of musical success, but obviously one of the real success stories of the Eurovision, along with our Johnny Logan, of course. Waterloo and ABBA from Sweden. And now you like this, but not a lot. Sweden's neighboring country is Finland. It's the shouting choir. Finland is the country that has been in the contest for the longest time without ever winning. The Finns they're entered not, in 1961 and are still not looking upset. forward to a victory. So look out, folks, because they are angry. <laughs> it's the shouting choir. Look at them now. Rubber ties and black suits. Dangerous men from Finland. Go on, lads, have a good shout. Get it out of your system. Go on. Jash. It's like a Father Ted moment, isn't it? What do you do? I'm one of the pointless shouters. Gentlemen, the Finnish shouting choir. Yes. Hello. Say it again. Let me say it again. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the Finnish shouting choir, Kutayat. Interesting stars. We hope, guys, you will win one day, but maybe not with a Swedish song. <laughs> Such handsome and sexy men they are. Oh yeah, just like me. Yes, Renners, just like you. But you know, you're not the only charming one that has been in this contest. Not the only one. What exactly do you mean? Oh, oh, I'm going down the nostalgia this trip. This has been packed with cute yes. and sexy men from the very beginning. Let's see some of them then. This is what we'll do. We'll have a little look. Really? <laughs> have a look at this. See if you can spot who these people are. These charming men. <laughs> Jean Paul, you charmer. It's, Ri it's Richard Nixon. It's Dave Allen. It's Julio Iglesias and a great head of teeth on him. It's 1970. It's Ronnie Barker. Jij komt terug, kijk, de zwaluwen hoog in de lucht, hebben een reis achter de rug. You know, it's incredible, but he is the image of our old college colleague, Vincent Hanley. Ring, ding, a ding, a ding, a ding, ding, oh, hello. she's got me in a world. Ring, ding, a ding, a ding, a ding, ding, she's my ring, a ding, girl. That's Ronnie Carroll for the UK. Ah, they're back. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, it's Nicole and Hugo. Incidentally, there's a great haircut coming. 
Wohin, kleines Pony, wollen wir reiten? No. Ah, okay. Wohin soll mein Lied uns heute begleiten? Fine head of hair, good man. There's Dickie. 1966. No, you haven't got the haircut of the day yet. It's not far away now. There he is. His name is Bams. Bams is right. In his jaw purse. Not there yet. Hey, it's Smiling Boy. Ah, at last. Isn't he fantastic? That was icy. There's Laughing Boy now. Little trip down memory lane. Now it's all good, harmless fun. Thank you, Katrina. You're right. You have a great day. What can I say? What We're can now you say? almost halfway through the songs in competition. There it is again, lads. That you can still vote. And here are the telephone and SMS numbers you should use. The next entry is sung by a duo who tried to enter the Eurovision Song Contest as early as 1978, but without success. Now, I think you'll find this is local talent about to uh, appear before your very eyes. Let me say you that they tried three more times, still no luck. One of them even tried on his own four more times. Thankfully, they didn't give up. And in 2000, they beat you. <laughs> and the rest of the Europe. <laughs> Here's Olsen Brothers and song number eight, Fly from on the, the Wings, wings of, of Love. Love. The Danish winners from 2000, Jorgen and Niels Olsen. summer night when the moon shines bright feeling love forever and the heat is on when the daylight's gone still happy together there's just one more thing i'd like to add she's the greatest love i've ever had fly on Fly on the wings of love Fly, baby, fly Reach in the stars above Touch in the sky Fly Yeah. 
Olsen Brothers, really, really popular act here. They used to be school teachers. Just released a new album that's flying the wings of love. Danish winner from 2000. And of course, uh, Jorgen Olsen wrote the music and the lyrics. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you so much. Feel it down. Merci beaucoup. And I've got to tell you, they're good guys as well. Thank you. Mangitak. Fantastic. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, it's, it's lovely to be with an unbiased crowd. All right. I have a sort of something to tell you because the winner in 1989 was a group called Riva. And their title was a song called Rock Me. And it kickstarted the career of a fantastic singer who is still one of the most popular singers in Croatia. He got through that, well done, that wasn't easy. Now this is Riva. 1989 winners for Yugoslavia. The song they won with was uh, Rock Me. And the group actually lived and worked in Switzerland at the time of the contest. And if you actually check out the record, Rock Me Baby, it's repeated every one and a half seconds. Fairly deep, I know. The band pretty much disappeared without trace, Dear but the lady's still here. She's with us tonight. She Please is. Please welcome Emilia Kocic. Yes, she's here, Emilia Kocic. Oh, give her a round of applause. I must say, the anti-aging cream is working a treat. You're a great audience. May I take you home? Have you a big house? In the beginning of the history of the Eurovision Song Contest, all the winners had been respectable ballads. But that changed in 1965 when a young, very beautiful, very popular young girl representing Luxembourg, but coming from French, spiced up the contest with a modern, up-tempo song that afterwards sets new standards for the contest. The song is written by the French Fonte Ruble, Serge Gosbourg. Please welcome song number nine, France Gall and Pupé de Sur, Pupé de Song. Pupé de Sur, Pupé de Song from 1965. France Gall, you'll know this. I probably love it. Winning for Luxembourg in Naples.
to pay the song. France Cole winning for Luxembourg in 65. That's all very fine, but we've bills to pay. We're back in a couple of minutes. <laughs> Welcome back to Congratulations, celebrating 50 years of the Eurovision Song Contest. In the contest in 1977, a lot of performers danced in extravagant costumes. One stood still in her, in her orange dress and sang a simple and sincere love song. That turned out to be a very good idea because she took home France's fifth victory with the song L'Oiseau à l'Enfant. <laughs> Afterwards, she recorded her unforgettable tune in Spanish, English, Portuguese and Italian. And who is it you speak of? Dansant sur les vagues, ivre de vie, d'amour et de vent. Maria Maria. La chanson naissante des vagues, abandonnée au sable blanc. Classic Eurovision song. Innocent, le sang du poète qui, en chantant, invente l'amour pour que la vie s'habille de fête et que la nuit se change en jour. She had the orange look before the Ukraine even thought about it. We came third the year she won, by the way, with the Swarbricks, and it's nice to be in love again. If you recognize her from recent song contests, you're right, because yeah. for years she has been the one to give 12 points on behalf of the French jury. Tonight she is with us in Copenhagen. Please welcome Marie Miriam. <laughs> In 1975, Turkey entered the song contest for the first time. Many years later, in 2003, three songs were involved in one of the closest races ever in the history of the contest, a Russian, a Belgian, and a Turkish. Only four points divided them, and at the end of the voting, and for the first time, Turkey took home the victory. The song became <laughs> the song became a huge smash hit all over Europe, and the singer has launched an international career. Here's song number ten, every way that I can, sung by Turkey's leading lady of song, Mesdames et Messieurs, Sertab Erener. A huge winner in 2003 for Sertab Erener. Every way that I can. This is song number 10. This is at the crowd of light, I'd say. Yay!
recognize her. Sarah Top Erinner, the Turkish winner from 2003, not song number 10. Every, I love you too. Every way that I can. Come here. Come here. Come here. Thank you. Hello. Hello. Do you remember, do you remember I was a lucky guy to hug you in Riga in Latvia yes. right after you won the Eurovision? Yes. Remember? Yes, yes, I remember? What's the first thing that comes uh, to your mind when you remember Riga and your victory? Well, of course, I was very excited. And all I of could see it in your eyes. Yeah, yeah. Well. <laughs> all of the competing songs were great. And uh, halfway through the voting, uh, it seemed we're not going to be able to come out as a winner. Okay. But then, our luck has changed, and we won! So, Tom, you have, you have a lot of new plans for 2006. What yeah. are your new plans? Uh, I'm planning to start my second English album in oh, 2006. Good. That's great. Yeah. That's Thank you. Wonderful. What, what it will be called? Ah, we don't know yet. You don't know? I don't know. I don't so know. it's an open question? Yes. Okay. Yes. We can think of something. Are you having a good time here tonight? Yes. We're just having yeah, a good chat, really, aren't they? It's a great party, isn't it? Absolutely great it's night. Wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. I love you. Meantime, there's big bulky Danes running riot at the back. Okay, will you please help us to present the next contestant? I'll be delighted. Thank, Thank you. you. Good. Now. Thank you. In 1988, a rather unknown singer from Canada represented Switzerland. It raised the roof when she sang, and after a close race with the United Kingdom, she took home the victory with one single point. That was in Dublin. Winning the contest made her famous all over Europe. Singing the title track for the movie Beauty and the Beast made her famous all over the world. Now, everybody knows her, and she's now performing in Las Vegas in a place designed especially for her. Ladies and gentlemen, here's song number 11, Celine Dion, Ne Parte Par Sans Moi. Ne Parte Par Sans Moi. Celine Dion, from 1988. Qui cherchez l'étoile Vous qui vivez en rêve Vous héros de l'espace Au cœur plus grand que la terre Vous donnez-moi ma chance Some performer, 1988, Celine Dion. 
No parte pass on one. There's a lot of dancing here. The local ballet is closed, so they're in here. That was song number 11 and Celine Dion. As we have heard, she has really made it big. But you know, she is not the only one. In 1974, Olivia Newton-John represented the United Kingdom and came fourth. <laughs> Nana Muscuri was beaten by the Danes in 63, but still made it big. And Baccarat and Francoise Audi and Lulu and Sandy Shaw and Vicky Leandras. The Eurovision Song Contest really is the women's contest. So what about the men, then? Three out of four winners are women. So far, 32 women have won on their own, while only five men have achieved the same. Only five? Who are they? Well, in well. 1958, André Clavo won, and Jean-Claude Pascal in 61. Okay. Udo Jürgens won Austria's only victory so far. Merci, chérie. Exactly. What exactly? That's the name of the song. Oh, merci, chérie. And there was Toto Coutinho in 1990. Okay, but that, that only makes four. Yeah, but there's a, a certain Irishman yes. who's shown a winning streak in pop music. Not to mention fame and fortune. I, I think I know what you mean. He won in 1980, he won in 87, and he wrote the winning song in 1992. Ah, Johnny Me Boy. He's the only person to achieve this landmark victory. I'm sure, ladies and gentlemen, it's Joni Logan. Joni Logan. Yes, and he is the only one to have two songs in the competition. Here's song number 12, Hold Me Now. And, and Johnny's Johnny here, Logan. by the way, and looking fabulous. Here's Johnny, our second contribution from him tonight. And Hold Me Now. I remember this in Brussels. Don't. Don't close your heart to how you feel Dream Don't be afraid the dream's not real Close your eyes Pretend it's just the two of us again Make believe this moment's here to stay Touch Touch me the way you used to do I know Tonight could be all I'll have with you From now on, you'll be with someone else instead of me So tonight, let's fill this memory For the last time, hold me now Don't cry, don't say a word, just hold Searching for Mad about him. Johnny Logan, his second contribution tonight. We were holding our lighter up. We were. Well, 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 that indeed. That's a great song, but why doesn't he dance? Leave him alone. Why didn't he dance? It's a ballad, Renars. Were you dancing when you performed back in 2000? Of course. Don't you remember? <laughs> if my star would fall, I'd disappear at all. 
I will follow my star yeah, till well, the well, well, end well, 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 of my that song. Yeah, remember? Yeah, that's very that good. Fine. Maybe just sing next time. Okay. Let's okay. see some other Eurovision artists who have interpreted the art of dance in unforgettable ways. Avec plaisir. No, shh. Oh, don't say that word, you. This is by way of um, a look back at dancing through the Eurovision years. And I use the term in its widest possible context. He's a strapping fellow, isn't he? Silver convention, my heavens. Sorry? <laughs> oh, the dancing Austrians. Schmetterlinge. Hey, that's Baccarat. Yes, sir, I can boogie. Do you remember? That's Parlez-vous Francais. Un petit point. George Hamilton the fourth. His name is Mickey. 1977. As for this. Ah! Nicole and Hugo. There's nothing complete without them. Recognize this? This little green number. It's Muriel Day and the Lindsays. Look before you leave. D -d 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 this, this guy's mother told him not to go out with tall girls. Never listen to his mother. Oh, Deirdre was mad about this fella. Sackus. Now, here's one for Sean back home. Look, she's just popping upstairs to turn off the lights. Look at her. That's Millie Scott for the Netherlands in 1966. Oh, they're funny memories, they really are. Funny, peculiar. Oh yes. <laughs> and you know what? While we have been watching the clips, I have found a lady who both sang and danced. Her group did it so well that their song won, and it was a daring dance act back in 1981. The song made it to the top of the charts all over Europe, and even today, no party is complete without it. The song is Making Your Mind Up from Box Fest. Please welcome Cheryl Baker. Woo! Ah, Cheryl.
And of course, this is Dublin. When Bucks Biz won. The song she's going to introduce, though, is by uh, the Brotherhood of Man in a moment. Nikki Stevens, Sandra Stevens, Martin Lee, and Lee Sheridan. But Cheryl Baker is here. She's a, she's a fun girl, Ladies Cheryl and Baker. Gentlemen, it's a great pleasure to welcome Cheryl Baker. Now, the last time I came across Cheryl Baker, she was advertising Hair Restorer. I must give her a ring. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. She's so natural. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. <laughs> I love you too. Back in 1976, a certain group impressed Europe so much that seven countries awarded them the maximum douze point. Four happy faces sang such a catchy tune that immediately after the contest, they entered the charts at number one in more than 30 countries. Now that record has sold more than five million copies around the world, and that in itself is a record. And by the way, they're still together, which is probably another record. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, song number 13 is Brotherhood of Man with Save Your Kisses for Me. They won in the Hague and Holland, Brotherhood of Man with Save Your Kisses for Me. They were just under 20 points ahead of everybody else. Though it hurts to go away, it's impossible to stay. But there's one thing I must say before I go. I love you, I love you, you know, I'll be thinking of you in most everything I do. Now the time is moving on, and I really should be gone, but you keep me hanging on for one more smile. that you'll say you kisses for me say for your kisses for me bye bye baby bye bye don't cry honey don't cry don't walk out the door but I'll soon be back for more kisses for me say for your kisses for me so long Nikki, Sandra, Martin and Lee, well done. Brotherhood of Man. For Roisin there, save all your kippers for tea. God bless them, they went down well. You can forget, of course, that they were hugely successful. Brotherhood of Man. Still united they stand, Brotherhood of Men. Thank you. She's giving him one of her Katrina on the waves there. Did you see it? Hey, folks, we're not finished yet. There's still one ah, yes. song missing. You're right, and someone special is missing too. Now, who would that be? Well, this would not be a real celebration without her, and we need someone to introduce the last entry. So why not let the winner of 2005 be presented by the winner of the very first Eurovision Good idea. Song Contest? du ciel parfum de mes vingt ans jardin plein de soleil où je courais enfant partout je t'ai cherché mon amour le 
look at that footage from 1956. The song called Refrain, the first winning song in the Eurovision back in 56, in Lugano in Switzerland. And she's here. Still looking fabulous. Still looking fabulous. In 1956, ladies and gentlemen, Lisa Asia. What a great year to be born, 1956. It's a very elegant lady. Introducing our final song this evening, but <laughs> final song of the contest. Far from the final song we are. The crowd are giving her a we are not worthy moment there. Liz Asya. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Hi. <laughs> Thank you very much. That's a wonderful party, but you know, you are wonderful too, huh? Fantastic. Back in 1956, there was a young, very good-looking lady who sang for a very, very tiny country. And she won. And it was me. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> many things have changed in the last 50 years, but the main thing is we are still together. We are still together. Can't say that of many things in fairness. I would like to introduce the next singer, the winner of 2005. Ah, yes. She is... <laughs> she's from Greece and uh, born in Sweden. And she went with... Uh, what was the name? She went with what? My number Absolutely. one. <laughs> we had breakfast with Helena Paparazzo this morning. Helena we did. But well, we're in the same room, Deirdre. It's the same thing, you know. We had breakfast with Helena. Show my lover undercover. Show my sacred passion and I have no other. Show delicious, so capricious. If I find that you don't want me, I'll be vicious. She was the only artist tonight to perform the song on stage live in its entirety. Helena Paparezu, my number one. A great winner from this year for Greece. There's your 14 now. Helena 
Paparizzo, song yes. number 14, my number one. To celebrate the 50th anniversary of the Eurovision Song Contest, two double CDs and DVDs have just been released. You'll find a total of 100 winners and favorites, and all of them are in the original versions. How we about have that? Been oh, yes. <laughs> We have been swept away through time and space and a whole range of emotions have incurred and seen the 14 songs in the competition. Great memories though, great memories. You Go can on. only vote for five more minutes. If for some reason you're away for a minute or two making coffee or discussing the color of a dress. Or a sexy guy. Or whatever. <laughs> or some whatever. astonishing dance steps. I'm sure you'll need a recap. Here are the numbers you have to phone or SMS to vote. Please remember that you can only vote for five more minutes. And here is the recap. Ah, the recap. By the way, I must uh, welcome on board our viewers 
and this is in Australia on SBS. I want to say uh, well, we have now heard the 14 a welcome to you. Songs and seen the recap. You'll notice what an Irish bias. Can't, can't well, help it. Usually at this point there would be an interval act. Could. Why not have one? Yes, yes. why not? During the years, there have been clowns, drag magicians, dancers, Donna International, drummers. You oh, name the drummers. It. What would you like? Me? Do I decide? They're all lined up backstage. Do you want me to sing Send in the Clowns or the Drummers or what? Really? And you've got everything. I have got everything. She got everything. You better decide because the voting ends in 25, 24 seconds. Okay. 19, 18, 17, 16, and this voting is 15, ending for 14, the top 13, five. 12, There'll then 11, be another vote for the winner. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. I see some tricolors out there, by the way. I met some people from Leash on the way in. Now I know what I want. Okay, what would you like? I would like eight people from Ireland. You ready for this, lads? Dancing. Are you ready for this? I bet you haven't prepared that. No, I haven't got that. You see? I have got 16. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, the most popular interval act ever. It's Riverdance! Riverdance. Live on this 50th celebration because it is deemed to be the most popular interval act in the history of Eurovision.
Joanne Doyle, she was the lead in the Special Olympics. And Ryan McCaffrey leading our river dance troupe for this uh, interval act, if you will, for the celebration here in Copenhagen of the 50th, 50 years rather, of uh, the Eurovision Song Contest. And if you think the Irish involvement is, is complete now, wow. you'd be wrong. We're not finished yet, you know. Well, needless to say, that was the fantastic river dance. Weren't they great? Amazing. Give them one of your waves, Katrina. <laughs> Indeed. Katrina, I'm very glad that I'm not the one to decide who is going to win tonight. It won't be easy with so many great songs. And some really powerful girls too. Helena, Celine, France, Nicole, Donna, Sertab. And, and you. Yeah, right. Let me show you, you what real girl power is about. Ah, uh, memory lane. It's just putting out the milk. <laughs> they didn't let those two hang around long. Sweden and Spain. God. <laughs> Giving it welly. That's Joy Fleming there for Germany. Got a scat singing. She's got to sing it to herself. A little bit more, just a little bit. You know what I'm looking for. Let me down, I'll put you in my cauldron. That's Mando for Greece in 2003. Ah, they're back. Nicole and Hugo, a constant. They're dancing Belgians. What's going on? Severine there, the winner in Dublin for Monaco in 71. Thank you, Connie. That'll be all. I remember her. That's Dora for Portugal in 1988. A powerhouse performance, I remember. I was Power Girls, by the way. I 
of love girl bumper. Do we end? Oh, yes. Now oh, we yes. have to go out and count all the votes. That's right. But what are we going to do with our friends all over Europe who are watching? Well, they could sing one of their favorites from the Eurovision Song Contest. Okay, that's a good idea, but I think I have a better one. What's that? Why not let some of our guests sing some of our favorites? I. That that's what we need, some songs. That's a brilliant idea, Renars. Thank you very much. Merci to bring us, Take it away. To bring us lollipops. Why, thank you. Danish hospitality, you're very kind. No trouble. Now, this is a medley. And you'll recognize some of the people doing the singing here as well. This, incidentally, is <laughs> Dana International. On Sunday afternoon, what he says, what they do, was it lovely as Paris can be? He asked me, parlez-vous français? If you don't, we will be okay. I promise you, love will come from above. But baby, parlez-vous français? He asked me, parlez-vous français? If you Tell you, the anti-aging cream works over here.
must say, it's magnificent to see an orchestra again at the Eurovision Song Contest. Oh, let me be the one who's loving you tonight. He's one of the Harrys. Oh, let me be the one who really wants you to be Richard Harry. I'll even bring along a magic moon just to make you feel all right. So let me be the one who's loving you tonight. Oh, let me be the one who takes you by the hand. Oh, let me be the one who really understands. Oh, everybody knows we've been good friends, but I think the time is right. So let me be the one who's loving you tonight. You and I could have an affair. Oh, man. As long as I know you really care, won't you show me you care? Oh, come on! Himmel og byen rød og himlen hvide stjerneskær Det er kun triste for en ekstra farveklæd Så giver vi hendes høj og indtil støj og gerne flere Thomas Tordeson. Uh, can I just say, Johnny Logan is singing a brand new song. Don't go away, don't miss it. We're back in a couple of minutes. Here's a song contest. A new outfit for our stars. Reynards and Katrina. The medley you heard was performed by Dana International, Carola, also Fra Fabrizio Faniello, Mari Miriam, Richard Harry, and Thomas Todarson. Th thank you, Thomas, for stepping in at the very last minute when Birte Kerr fell ill. And Birte, we hope that you will get well soon. Send your love to love. Get well soon, Bertha. There she is. She's saying, Bertha. Who's Bertha, she said. So far, so good. Katrina, <laughs> you look fabulous. Thank you. You look what great, too. What about me? You, yeah, you know. I was just going to say, you look great, too. Thank you. Hair. What a night. What a fantastic She's going to night. And what so, so many stars. You know, 32 of the Danish winners from the past 50 years are here with us tonight. Good afternoon, Denmark. Cheer up, boys. It's all right. Get among we, friends. We even have the king of the Eurovision. You know, the Irishman. Oh, here we go. I wish, I wish he would sing something for us. Yes. He will, because he's promised to sing his brand new ballad. When a woman loves a man, ladies and gentlemen, here's Johnny. Johnny Logan, brand new song called When a Mo Woman Loves a Man. He recorded this with the uh, Danish Radio Orchestra, who are sharing the limelight with them this very evening. Ooh, yeah, yeah. Lately I've been told about the distance that we feel Whenever words are hard to find About the tears and the wounds that never heal How emotions leave us blind Is the promise in her eyes Maybe heaven's in her smile So 
many broken roads Always leading to goodbye Pretending you'll be gone a while I don't believe that the music goes away I do believe it's getting stronger It's still not Well done, Johnny, and a great reaction. Johnny Logan, When a Woman Loves a Man. Singing live for us here in the Forum in Copenhagen. And the orchestra too, the Danish Radio Orchestra. Well done, Johnny. You must remember too, that guy is a huge star on the continent. Oh, sorry about that. All there, all right there, Katrina. So, Cleared the throat. That was Johnny Logan. Little cough. But now the first voting procedure has ended. We started with 14 fantastic songs, and all of them have one thing in common. They're all classics that come to our mind now and then, and when they do, they make us feel good and make us happy. Are you happy, Renaud? Oh, we start to chat. It's just what we need. He's happy, you're of all happy. Of course, of course I'm happy. Of course I'm happy and I'm happy to say that in a little while we will reveal which are the five of these 14 classics that Europe has chosen for the final. Right. In we... no particular order. You can hear people shouting up titles at them. Let me do it. Five envelopes and, and five songs one. to come. The top five. As voted by the, the people of Europe. And the first of the five finalists is now Blue de Pinto de Blue Domenico Venuto. Right, the Italians are in. Now Blue de Pinto de Blue. And the second is. I don't think this is any order, in any particular it's order. The Brotherhood of Man and Savior Save your kisses Mary. for me, Brotherhood of Man. The third one is... And the third one is ABBA and Waterloo! Well, now, uh, if they didn't make it... Dominico... And the fourth, ladies and gentlemen, is Helena Paparizzo! Helena Paparizzo! The Greeks got in fairly fast, didn't they? number 14. Oh, Johnny, I hope you're going to make it and now. Only time for one more. Final. That would be the final one, wouldn't it? Helena ABBA number 12. It's Johnny Lowe yes! with Yes! Johnny Logan for a moment. I was having a bad moment there. Cliff didn't make it. In the top five. Nice and neat. Very good. Ordan International. The final voting begins now. And this time I'll calm myself now. I'm all right. Decide which of the five finalists you want to give the title 
the all-time best song. Here are the telephone and SMS numbers you should use. Before you make up your minds, let's see a recap of the five songs in the final. Europe. Johnny Logan is in Start the top five. Now. Ah, he got the triangle back. Good. Meow triangle, he said. So now. Waterloo, Newport 07. Hold me now, Johnny Logan. Save all your kisses from here. So long, honey, so long. You are the one, you're my number one. The only treasure I've ever had. You are the one, you're my number one. Anything for you is your the one I love. That's it. While you're voting, Renars and I will take a little break and listen to some music. Yes, what a we good put idea. We've together a medley of songs that have all won the Eurovision Song Contest. And to sing those songs, we have asked some of our guests. Let's leave it to them. Apretoir. Maestro. Maestro. Ah, yes. A song. At last. Galley Atari. It's easy for me to say.
Cheryl Baker, Mike Nolan, and the other person. Making your mind up. Less than half a minute now to get the votes in. There they are, ladies and gentlemen, Gali Atari, Bobby Sox, Anna Marie David, Lisa Zia, Nine. Sandra Kim, and Bucks Fizz. Eight. Six, Seven. five. five. Four, three, two, one. The end of the voting. That's it. Sorry to interrupt. It's no, that's all right. <laughs> Remember, in the beginning, we were talking that it's all about having fun. In the beginning, it is. Thursday. It is. It's a great party. 
Great songs, great audience. No, indeed. It is so. I'm just, I'm just wondering about one thing. And what's that, my dear? In all our trips down memory lane, we have met a wonderful couple dancing and singing in their uh. outrageous purple yeah. outfits. Oh, you mean Nicole and Hugo, who represented the Nicole and Hugo, Belgium yes. In 1973. Oh, oh yes. They did. I, I think, how did they manage to sneak into all of our categories? Well, because I think they represent the best of the Eurovision Song Contest. An I totally concur, song, Katrina. A handsome guy, a powerful girl, yes. and they have a very daring dance act. They do. They the still have their outfits. And do they still remember to perform that fantastic dance? Would you like to see Nicole and Hugo? No, Katrina, we wouldn't. Would you? No. I think, I think we should make a wish in that I'm case. banging on the window. We no. want to see Nicole, Nicole and, and Hugo. Hugo. Come on. Too late. We want to see Nicole and Hugo. We want to see Nicole and Hugo. We want to see... No. I have a bad feeling. Oh, no, not that again. No, 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 no. Stop, stop, no, stop. come on. Not that one. But you want to meet the real Nicole and Hugo? There's worse to come. Hey, look at that. I must say, I like a man and a moustache, though. But give us a twirl. Tell me this is a dream. It's a nightmare. Nicole and Hugo, who came last for Belgium in 1973. I can't understand it. Thank you, Europe! We love Belgium! <laughs> Thank you! Thank you. Yeah. You can see Jorgen Nolson at the front row saying, right, I'm out of here. It's another what do we do now, Ted, moment. Go on, won't you do something? Thank you, Katrina. Ah, good. Thank you. You really do know how to make a wish come true. How can I ever pay you back? Well, I would like to hear someone sing. Oh, God. Someone <laughs> special. Yes, someone very special. But someone I'd love to see here tonight actually yes. brought me out onto the stage when I won the Eurovision Song Contest in Dublin in 1997. I'd like to bring him on stage here tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, another Irish Keating. moment. Ronan Keating is here. Because, of course, he was the presenter of the Eurovision Song Contest.
Roland Keating, don't forget, he was the presenter and the interval act when he was involved with the Eurovision Song Contest. Is there nobody at home? Oh, we're not finished yet, by the way. I like Rona Keating. He's a good guy. Rona Keating with a hit song, Life is the Roller Coaster. Every year, some of the really good strongs almost make it to the top. Some of them are even in the lead for some time during voting, but drop down at the very last minute. The United Kingdom holds the unfortunate record of being runner-up 15 times in the past 50 years. Ah, good idea. Now we're going to have runners up. We will now make another trip down memory lane, this time celebrating some of the memorable songs that almost made it, but came second. That's what we need, some songs. There's not enough singing on this thing. Elizabeth Andresen for Norway. She's everywhere. She's a Bobby Sox as well. A little trip down memory lane and more songs. I think we'll have a few more. Renars. Yes. It's a night of song People and night of dance. People over Europe have voted. The votes are being Vote. counted. We still yes. need some more time. Ah. Okay, I can tell a joke. Not if it's no, the one I think you we'll have a song. twice backstage. Please. Thank you. We'll be on jokes okay, now. I can dance. Oh, God, don't do that. <laughs> no, I've got you're a right. much better idea. No way. Get a What's song that? on. Let's ask our excellent backup singers to sing instead. Yay, good idea. A song. But hey, these good are idea. our backing singers. I'm sure they know a song, or maybe a two. Well, of course, Johnny like Logan wrote the voice for Linda. Brendan Graham is with us tonight Definitely here in the auditorium. Great. He wrote Thank the voice for Emer and Rock and Roll Kids for Charlie and Paul. Here's our guys. Here's our guys.
Well, Dimmer, well done. I remember 62. I was 16, so are you. And we live next door on the avenue. We were the rock and roll kids. Rock and roll was all we did. And listening to those songs on the radio. I was yours and you were mine. And that was once upon a time. Now we never seem to rock and roll anymore. Well done, Charlie. Two Brendan Graham classics. Man, Jacob. Well done. Now, could you move aside, please, and let Linda Martin through? Sometimes Johnny Logan. I watch you passing by my window. Why? Sometimes I watch you passing through my dreams. And sometimes when I look at you, you take my breath away. Sometimes I try and understand your. You choose to feel the way you feel about me And sometimes when I turn around And you're there like today I want to say Why me? I look at you and I get to feel it Why me? I know it's true but I Why me? Oh, well done. A real Irish celebration at the Eurovision tonight. Well done, Emer, Charlie, and Linda. We're back in a couple of minutes. Oh, go away. And here are the five songs that made it to the final. Here we go, it's boys. Time here we to go. Reveal this is it now. The all time winner. Can we get some drums here? Oh, yes, get some drums. We've no drums. Can we have somebody dancing with it? Oh my heavens above! Oh, what? <laughs> Grandmother from I bet you she's yeah. a sister of the Moldovan <laughs> granny we had before. <laughs> Thank you, and goodbye. Woo. She's been here since Thursday okay. practicing for that one moment. This is the great moment. And they tell her to get off. You have decided the great moment. That the song in third place. Shall is? I do the, oh, we're doing do a 3 2 honors? 1, are we? I think so. Johnny's in there. See him in the middle. The, the song in third place? Could we, is. could we win this, could we win this? Johnny Logan with Hold Me Now. Ah. Three's better than four and five. Oh, I think we know what the safe money is here. Well done, Johnny Logan now. in third place with Hold Me Now. Yeah. In the all time most popular Eurovision songs. And the audience are rising to Johnny Logan because he is Mr. Eurovision, of course. And a suitable standing ovation for Johnny Logan. The song in second place is... The song in second place, Are ladies and gentlemen. Are you excited? 
There's is. no worse between them. Oh. Would you like to say this? Oh, yes, please. Nel blu dipinto di blu. Volare. 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 Cantare. Oh. 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 Sadly, Domenico Modugno can't be with us. Passed away some years ago. And now, finally, Great song. Why don't you finally. give me the. Almost one I suppose songs have competed in the Eurovision Song Test Song Contest during the 50 I suppose it has to be years. All of them were put on internet. It has, if we, them if we know anything, it has to be other. If we know anything. Could you please give me that yeah. bloody five of them made yes, it get to on the, the final? We know what is number three. It's between number ABBA, two Brotherhood of Man, and Helena Paparazzo. Number one is, are you ready? The winner of congratulations and hereby the all time Eurovision Song Contest favorite is. Waterloo by Abba! Waterloo by Abba. No particular surprise, but I suppose based on the fact of their huge success, their association with the event, and the fact that they became a worldwide phenomenon so quickly after the event, it was likely that they were going to steal the crown as the most popular Eurovision song over the well, last 50 years. Now, as you can see, this is not a member of the band. Congratulations. <laughs> well done. Is this mic working? Yes, it is. Be very careful. You want to have a word? Is the microphone working? Yes. Yes. Go ahead. Yes. Attention, please. Attention, please. Go ahead. <laughs> I just wanted to say that Abba are still very humble about these things, and I know they're very happy tonight. And uh, thank you very, very much. Och till alla er svenskar här ikväll och alla svenska tittare, jag hoppas ni är väldigt stolta. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. I presume he's with the management company. We hope that the Eurovision Song Presumably. Contest will bring you as many precious, funny and unforgettable moments in the future as it has for 50 years. Congratulations to all of you from Copenhagen. Good evening, Kira! <laughs> well, we'll see you in 50 years for the next one. That's it from, from Kevin and Dee and from Marty Whelan here in the commentary box in Copenhagen, here in Denmark. It's been a hell of a night. I hope you've enjoyed it. To Sean and Roshi and all the gang back home, good night and God bless you all. And we'll talk to you from Greece in the spring for the next Eurovision Song Contest. God bless you. Bye-bye. Wow.